What's going on everyone? My name is Nicholas Merton here at Datadash and today is March 18th of 2022. Well folks, I hope you are having a fantastic day wherever you are and in today's video I want to spend some time to discuss why I believe that we could be in for an imminent rally for both Bitcoin and altcoins here in the coming days and weeks. I think that the technical signs have been building up week by week as we exited out of the bearish start of 2022 and now we're entering into the next chapter where we could see a serious trend reversal back up to the upside, revisiting all-time highs and trending to new all-time highs. We've got lots of things to discuss in today's video right after our quick sponsor. And our sponsor for today's episode is TaxBit. The 2021 tax season is here. When it comes to crypto, dealing with taxes can be difficult, but it doesn't have to be. TaxBit helps you calculate your tax obligations on your cryptocurrency activities by plugging in your various exchanges and crypto platforms. With support for over 481 crypto exchanges, you can track your crypto accounts and wallets with ease. And thanks to the TaxBit network, your exchange likely provides free tax documents powered by TaxBit. If you're interested to learn more, check out the link in the description below and start this year's tax season off with ease. Alrighty, everyone. So before we kick off the analysis that I know many of you are excited to dive into, I want to go ahead and share a big personal life update with you all. As many of you may have already heard on Twitter, if you happen to follow me there, or if you picked up on some of the hints at the beginning of the video, I recently got engaged to the love of my life, my girlfriend of the past couple of years. And I can't express in words how excited I am for this, how thankful I am to know that I found the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. But I want to go ahead and take some time to make a really important statement that I think is important for you guys to know about. Many of you here have watched the channel over the past couple of years. You listen to me ramble and you come here every single day to support what I do. And I can't thank you guys enough for this. But there are also two other people who I think deserve a really important and necessary shout out. Not only uh, Jeff, who helps to manage the emails for our business, the newsletter, and a lot of other miscellaneous things throughout the company that help us to do what we do on a day-to-day -day basis, but on top of that as well, my girlfriend, who's been by my side for the past couple years since we started dating every step of the way, and has always consistently believed in what I was doing, both in my personal business ventures like Digifox, as well as what I do here on the channel. But above all, I really wanna make a big shout out to you guys who have supported me along the way. I know I usually dive right into the market analysis, but I, I wanna make it very clear to you guys that you all have made um, not only what I do possible on a day-to-day -day basis, but because of your support here and my ability to do this channel, that's what actually led me towards meeting my girlfriend and being where I am here today. And I always try to remember that and be thankful for all the support you guys have shown me. So that being said, I digress. Thank you all so much for showing your support. And I wanted to share this big piece of news with you guys because I'm just so happy in this moment of my life. And I'm hoping that there'll be more and more memories to come as we go throughout the future. So thank you all very much for the support you guys have shown on Twitter. I can't express how thankful I am and uh, how much it means to me that you guys have been so kind. But let's go ahead and dive into what you guys are likely here for, which is the market analysis. So I wanna go ahead and focus in on, again, not only the consistent price support that we've been seeing, the eagerness in price as price is continuing to make higher lows here since back here in late January, but focusing on Bitcoin is really one thing here. The major thing I wanna point your attention to is the growing strength we've been seeing in the ETH to BTC ratio, the same exact trend here consistent support range and or higher lows, which we've been seeing all the way as far back here as the earlier part of 2021. And now we're seeing in the short-term trend, a revisit back upwards here on the ratio, a climb up higher, and by taking a look at the dollar pair here for Ethereum, it looks like very much that we're set up not only with the higher lows and the consistent descending resistance that we could be set in here in the coming days or week for a pop-up higher above the $3,000 range. And this is the kind of price action we wanna to see to confirm the trend breakout here. Now, I don't wanna beat a dead horse, guys. You guys know that I think the price action we're seeing right now all the while, yes, the market is not absolutely euphoric. I do believe is bullish. It's the early signs of a bullish trend reversal to the upside. And I think that that is exactly why we should be excited because we're in the early stages of this. We don't want to go crazy about crypto when it's at euphoric highs and everyone's talking about it. We wanna know when the trend is set to reverse here in the near term. Right? We wanna know when, what's basically gonna happen ahead of time so we can make sure we have our positions here and we have that longer term time frame horizon. And I think it's very likely here, right? And I don't wanna draw exactly how it's gonna play out, but I think we could see by the close of March, a build of support here 
and a potential breakout higher here above the $3,000 range. It's not gonna happen overnight, but I think that the price action is starting to showcase these key signs to show that it is possible. Now, one thing as well that I think is important to focus on here is taking a look at the altcoin season index. We've been continuously rebounding around this range, around the 20 point, uh, 20% uh, range here on the altcoin season index, which basically means that the vast majority of altcoins have remained underperforming against Bitcoin here in the short term, right? Since we saw the kind of decline back here, I think it was back around January on the, uh, the uh, index here. But we're also not seeing a decline lower. We've been holding this range since basically late February, almost a month where we've just been consolidating sideways, which means that altcoins aren't really selling off against Bitcoin like they were back about a month ago, right? They've been holding about where they are. If not, they're starting to slowly show the signs of a trend reversal where they're outpacing Bitcoin on their ratios over the last 90 days. And that's an important telltale sign that a trend reversal is coming. The fact that we're not seeing a serious revisit down to these extremes like we saw in November of 2020, like we saw here in August of 2021, we're now seeing that we're holding up here. And if you take a look at a lot of the, the ratios, whether it be the large cap plays like Ethereum or a variety of altcoins across the market, you'll find that most are trending neutral against Bitcoin as its prices started to appreciate once more, or they're starting to trend higher from DeFi plays to metaverse plays, anything you think about the other competing layer one protocols and layer twos, we're starting to see showcased signs of confidence, the higher lows and higher highs of the trend. And it's exactly what we want to see here. And I again want to make the narrative here that I really think we could be in not just for Bitcoin picking up, but for altcoins as well. I think we're going to see the spring rally we've been talking about here for these altcoins in the market following the trend uh, upward trend in the dollar terms for Bitcoin. If we take a look here at bookmap here, we're really just observing the past couple of days here uh, since back on the 16th. The market order flow has taken a bit of a hit here in the market here over the past couple of days as we're observing the tools here on bookmap. But we can see if we're taking a look at the order book here for the given price range for the next couple thousand dollars, we can see that there's a lot more buy side support here, a total of 1600 Bitcoin on Coinbase versus around 1400 Bitcoin here. So the bids in the order book are getting more and more FOMO here. Fear of missing out. They want to make sure that they have their bids in here. It's providing more support for Bitcoin's price. And therefore, it's going to be easier for the bulls to clear through that resistance on the asks on the order book versus the opposite in this case, which would be the sellers clearing through the bids in the order book. Now, of course, that can change as it's always constantly changing. But we've been seeing this trend here for the past couple of weeks, indicative that the market is ready to move higher. All we need to see here is the CVD starting to trend back higher. Now, again, we are just looking over the past two days uh, with the trend pop that we saw here over the past couple of days. The CVD has generally been bullish over the last, say, weeks worth of price action. But we want to see this continue to maintain both in short term and long term trends here or time frames, if you will, for the market. If you guys are interested in checking out Bookmap and getting these kind of market insights that you just simply can't get through tools like TradingView, you guys can always check the link down below in the description. Bookmap is one of our partners here on the channel. They're a great tool to be able to keep track of the market. Now, I want to go ahead and talk about something outside of kind of the large cap plays and market order flow. It, gen it tends to be that the altcoin markets generally see major rallies or increases in dominance when we have catalysts. All right. Now, you all know that I'm not one to chase headlines, um, to, to kind of chase these kind of news buzz stories that try to explain why price does what it does. But when new trends formulate in the market or new types of altcoins, Come into the market. Uh, this is where a lot of interesting things can start to happen. And liquidity shifts or phases of optimism can really start to take over in the crypto market. And today I want to spend some time to talk a little bit about one of those new trends that is likely going to not be the only one. And that is the launch of the governance slash utility token for the Board Ape Yacht Club, otherwise known as ApeCoin. Now, I want to go ahead and make something very clear here. I'm not here to incentivize you guys to FOMO into it. I hold no position in ApeCoin. And on top of that, I really personally don't plan to invest in it personally. But I want to talk about the significance of this all the while. I think that this may just be pure speculation and will probably likely fail more than likely, right? Uh, more than likely succeed, right? So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about this. So if you guys aren't aware already, 
Uh, the Board Ape Yacht Club is one of the biggest NFT collections out there in the market. It is uh, one where you know kind of apes can trade for uh, hundreds, of, I don't know, maybe tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. And on top of that, there's a massive community of people who have been behind these NFTs. But with the launch of ApeCoin, this is supposed to be a token that was not only airdropped to a variety of holders of these NFTs, but it's supposed to be a new kind of governance utility token to help expand the Board Ape Yacht Club community across a variety of other ecosystems. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it out there, guys. Like a lot of the governance token trend, I honestly think it's kind of BS, personally. I just don't see the use case for it. Again, I don't want to be closed off. I think that's important to keep open to new things. And if you want to have some exposure to it, it's perfectly fine. But I genuinely don't see the, the need for it because I think the NFTs themselves could possibly serve in a form of governance. And if they can't, then you could have just dropped a token directly to those holders, you know, like individual tokens that represent some kind of authority uh, or voting rights within the community. Right? instead of this kind of liquid token that people can speculate out and, and trade and stuff. But I digress on it. Let's just be very clear and candid here. No matter whether or not I like it or whether you like it or whoever likes it or dislikes it, it's a new trend. It's a new thing in the market that is gonna draw uh, liquidity, it's gonna draw attention, it's gonna draw speculation, and it could be enough to ignite a move higher in the market. And that's the important thing we need to understand here. Now, to talk about how significant this launch was, Right. For many people who are holding the NFT, uh, they got basically the equivalent of, at current market prices of tens if not hundreds of thousands of dollars in the token. And even all the while, many of them have sold those tokens on the market, as many do with airdrops. We can see here that a lot of the initial sell side pressure came in here, whereas buyers started to really take over as the exchange listings came in. Right. So again, I'm not here to talk so much about buying the token itself. And again, as you all know, as I mentioned earlier, I don't have a position, but I think just like how in during DeFi summer back in 2020, Compound had launched its governance token and then Uniswap and many others followed suit after, it's a new trend here. It's a new segment of the NFT space that is now much more liquid and tradable than the actual NFT market itself. And that alone could draw a lot of attention to the altcoin space. It could be the catalyst here for liquidity return to, to return back in and people to start speculating more as they tend to do when the uh, altcoin to BTC ratio starts to trend higher. So I think it's a trend we need to be aware of and we need to know that this is likely not going to be the last one. I wouldn't be surprised if you saw platforms like OpenSea eventually launching a token. I wouldn't be surprised if you saw CryptoPunks doing the same thing. Some of these established communities and even more smaller ones as well that are more early stage. But again, I think it's purely speculation at this point, but that's just my opinion. It's just why I, I the only reason I emphasize that is I don't want you guys to feel like you need to FOMO into this thing, right? But it's an important thing for not just this potential segment of altcoins, but for Bitcoin, for Ethereum, and for the broader crypto space as a whole. And I don't think we can ignore it anymore. So. Anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. I'm curious to hear what you all think about these different topics. I think the catalyst of the ApeCoin launch and on top of that as well, the confident signs we are seeing in both Bitcoin, Ethereum, and the broader altcoin space is signaling clear signs that we're ready to move higher. But if you guys agree or disagree, I'd love to hear down below in the comments. The best way that you guys can support the channel is to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. And if you find any of the tools that we use here on the channel down below in the description useful, feel free to sign up to the links down below. But that being said, everyone, I hope you're all having a fantastic day wherever you are. Stay safe, trade smart, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone.